Hey guys, Dave Bosch here. I'm starting an ultrasound video series to do quick tips and tricks for ultrasound. And I'm gonna to start today with scanning the scaphoid for missed fracture on x-ray. As you may know, x-rays are about 75% sensitive for uh, ruling out scaphoid fracture, which can lead to avascular necrosis, non-union, and complications for your patient. So ruling this in initially is very important, and we don't have access to MRI, uh, which is the current gold standard. Uh, Ultrasound is upwards of 100% sensitive and 98% specific for a scaphoid fracture if done correctly. And hopefully I can show you how to do this with a couple of tips and tricks. So I wanna show you how to position the probe on the wrist and get good pictures on the ultrasound uh, screen to uh, rule in or out the fracture. Uh, if you can see down on my wrist, if you take somebody's wrist and uh, ulnar deviate it down, which will show the area of the scaphoid, you place the ultrasound probe, the linear probe, directly down on top of the scaphoid, right where you think it would be, right over the snuff box. And this, the uh, transducer probe uh, pointer is pointing right at the patient's elbow. So this is the view of the ultrasound of uh, the scaphoid in that longitudinal view. Uh, it should look like a saddleback or a peanut. And what you're looking for is any cortical discontinuity, um, step, step offs on that, that bright white line there, uh, or any periosteal elevation or fluid within the bone, uh, or any effusions or hemarthrosis around this bone. Uh, in this view, if you're ever confused about what you're looking at, you can always uh, ultrasound the patient's other wrist in the same position to get a comparison. So this is probe position one, the longitudinal direction where the probe indicator dots point towards my elbow. Once I find the scaphoid in this position, I can rotate the probe 90 degrees and scan up and down over the scaphoid to find any cortical irregularities. This is the volar approach and I'm just putting the linear probe right on the base of the wrist, almost right over the radial pulse, right at the wrist crease. And if you look up at the screen, what you'll see is right in the middle, uh, what looks like the side of a peanut. On the left side of the screen is actually the distal radius articulating with the scaphoid. And, and right in the middle here is a nice peanut-shaped scaphoid bone. This is an example of a cortical irregularity and step-off. Here is another example of a cortical discontinuity, and this is a slight fracture noticed in two locations.